All right, so I know I'm a little late talking about this one, man, but Ninja, Ninja, Ninja responds or reacts rather to Kasanat passing 200,000 subscribers. Now, before I get into it, I do want to say that Ninja did big Kai up before I get into it because some people think that Ninja was being a little bit salty when he talked about it. I don't really think. I don't really think he was being salty. I think he was kind of just reminding people like, hey, you know, what Kai's doing is pretty good or was pretty good. But I think what when I did it, it was a little bit harder. I think that's what he was kind of trying to allude to. And I'm trying to figure out which one was harder. Like what's harder to do? Get 200,000 people to subscribe to you playing a video game or getting 200,000 subscribers by just being an IRL streamer? Because on one hand, right, you're you you're not playing a video game. So people aren't subscribing to you because of your skill or they're not subscribing to you because of your gameplay or anything like that. They're just literally looking at you, be yourself, and you got 200,000 people to subscribe to you. But on the other hand, too, when it comes to video games, and most of y'all probably know that, especially if you're a streamer or a content creator, the ceiling is really low. Like, for example, a 2K streamer is not hitting 2,000 subscribers. They're just not. I don't give a damn how good they are. I don't give a damn how popular they are hitting 200,000 subscribers just simply playing 2k only the ceiling is only so high that's why you see so many content creators leave it i uh duke dennis agent i'm davis aiden ross like tacino i mean flight cash nasty the it's the the list goes on of 2k streamers that left there because they know that the ceiling was low but when ninja hit 200,000 subscribers he was only playing Fortnite. now obviously Fortnite was a hell of a game i mean say what you want about it now when when Fortnite was popping man everybody and their mama was playing it to the point where ninja was so big he was even getting rappers like drake and other people to come play with him now some of them were using him for clout i think that you know drake and ninja had an issue or not necessarily an issue but you know i think ninja kind of realized that's what was going on and he hasn't played with anybody really like that since um so i'm, I'm really kind of trying to i'm kind of torn i'm kind of trying to figure out which one was harder to do but regardless of the fact ninja definitely wanted it to be known like hey y'all talking about kai but don't forget when your boy hit 200,000, man i was only playing a video game i was that's it i i just got on and played you know hopped on in the space of my own private room doing something i would have been doing anyway i just happened to stream it and 200,000 people decide they want to subscribe but then also, like I said, I think about Kai too, man. It's it's hard. It's it's hard to just sit here. I like just sit right here, and there's nothing going on. I'm not playing anything, and you get two hundred thousand people to like you. But I want to know what you guys think down below. Do you think Ninja was being shady, or do you think like you know you think he was just being real? You know, I definitely want to know what you guys' opinion is on that. I definitely just think he was just being real. I don't think he was being shady. I can see how some people could take it like that, but I, I don't think he was being shady. I just think that he was just letting people know, like, hey, you know. If you're going to bring this shit up in my chat, trying to get a rise out of me, just let me just remind you real quick. I was that dude. But let me know down below.